Hi guys, I just want to show you the start of my fire pot. I've cut out my four pieces and uh, put them together. I initially made a model out of cardboard and I've actually just nestled the four pieces of steel down inside the cardboard model and uh, it's looking pretty good. A couple of the cuts may be not as accurate as I'd like but uh, they'll be all welded together so I'll get them in a place, spot weld them, and um, then make sure it's all nice and square, flat, and then I'll do the full weld. I'll show you what I've done. Okay, here we go. It is across the top. Four hundred by. Four hundred with a one hundred mil. Can't get that down in there, but there we go. Let's see if I can get some sense out of that. On a one hundred mil square hole in the bottom. One hundred by one hundred, and it turned out to be. It says 140, and uh, yeah, so first stage of the fire pot project. Okay, well, I've got it in place, roughly, as best I can, and I'm going to attempt to tack weld some corners. So I think if I tack weld, you probably can't see because of the angle, but if I tack weld down into the joining corners in the bottom around the air inlet, then I can pull the top up and hopefully it'll stay. We'll see. Give it a go, eh? Okay, so as you would see from that first attempt at welding it together, I was having a lot of trouble pulling the outside corners up because the cardboard model that I had it sitting in 
of course, was only cardboard and the weight of the steel was pulling it out of shape. So I could get the inside square to be nice and joined. But when I tried to pull one corner up, the other side splayed out. So I had a bit of a think about it and I've come up with a, what I think is a pretty good solution and will, I hope, help other people in the future who plan on welding one of these things together and trying to get it square and accurate. And I'll swing on down and show you what I've come up with. Okay, so here is my invention. It is a rubbish bin. So I've got the steel inside the cardboard cutout that I made, which holds the base together pretty well. Very well, I think. Sorry about the camera work. Um, but I was having trouble with these outside corners splaying out. So what I thought I'd do is drop the whole thing into the top of this rubbish bin, which puts pressure, puts pressure on the outside corners here and pull these, pulls these up and allowed me to be able to get my little hammer here and tap the corners, get them nicely into shape. It's come together really well. One of my cuts, as you can see, these cuts down in that corner there, and bevels are quite accurate. That one, quite accurate. That one there has a little bit of a gap in there, but it's only about two or three mil, nothing I can't fill. The rest of it's very accurate. This one's very accurate at the top, but then I have a couple of places where I really wobbled badly with the plasma cutter and um, stuffed up the cut. That was my first cut, but I can fill those. So I'll tack it here, I'll tack it here, here, so on and so forth, get it secure and do the main part of the welding from the other side. So, okay, hopefully it'll work. The cardboard's likely to catch fire and start burning on me, but I can put that out as I go. Um, it's disposable. As long as the plastic rubbish bin doesn't start burning as well, I'll be all right. I'm gonna start with the top corners because they're the ones that I was having trouble with keeping lined up. Okay, well, I think that's reasonably good. I think she's solid enough to move around, get some good welds in. I'll uh, stop the recording because nobody wants to watch somebody weld. Okay, well. I'm probably about a third of the way through the welding up of this now. Um, I've got the inside welded and ground back. Just gave it a grind so that um, nothing gets caught on it. So it's nice and smooth. So as you can see, looks pretty good. It's 100 mil. It's a bit hard to see, but it is. 100 mil across either side. What I'll do is I'll lift her over, and now you can see I've got these nice V's in here that I will start welding up properly. I actually came 
together very well. It's given me a very good um, V-shaped <laughs> groove to get a good deep penetration weld into. The weld on the other side is to hold it in place while I do the structural weld on the outside here. So it's pretty much to hold it together so that I can do these big, thick structural welds down the outside corners here. That shouldn't take me too long, so I'll get into that and um, give you another view when that's done. Okay, well, I finished the welding on the fire pot and I started doing a bit of grinding and thought, oh no, I better, better do a bit of videoing before I did. Sometimes I forget that I'm making videos and I just start working. So that's where I've ground down my corner after welding it. Probably don't need to, but I'm a bit of a, um, I don't know, impulsive obsessive when it comes to that sort of thing. So there's one of my welds down that corner. Bit lumpy in places, which makes me want to uh, grind it down to make it nice and even, but I think they're reasonably good welds. Got really good penetration, filled up that corner really well, and structurally, very sound. So this will last me quite some time, I reckon. She's not about to fall to pieces, so I reckon I can be pretty pretty happy with that inside and out. You can see from the, the marks on the other side how I've got very good um, penetration. You can actually see where I've started and stopped on occasions. The spots like that there, that's actually where I've had a spot weld previously. So these places like that and that these places here is where it was previously welded together on the back side just to get it to hold together um, you're not part of the the long weld long welds that i did but uh very happy with the result of that fire pot so yep i think that's going to work really well i'll do a little bit of grinding on those outside corners but uh never going to be seen structurally sound so uh, it's just me being a bit of a perfectionist i suppose okay that'll do for now okay so as i said i would do a bit of grinding on there couldn't help myself so i've cleaned up these edges now all nice and smooth tidy and it took me about i don't know maybe 10 minutes to do three edges so just over three minutes on each one turned out pretty well I think um, still pretty hot at this point in time okay guys I've been working on my fire pot a bit more I think I mentioned earlier on that I was going to put a cutout into both sides of the fire pot so that I could feed material in yeah, so I could feed material in and get it down low in the fire and then that will project out the other side as well. So that allows me to get my material down low into the fire without having to put it down like this and obviously if you're trying to heat this section you can't do that. You have to have it way up here and then build your fire up high so that you can get it down inside it. Didn't want to do that wanted to be able to bring that in from that angle only have the heat of my fire in here and that entailed making some cutouts so i've done side one it's turned out pretty good i think as you can see there i think it's a 40 mil cutout which is round about an inch and a half a couple of mil off i think 38 mil is about an inch and a half so what i've done is I've added a lip, a rim to the edge. So that's 40 mil material, which as you can see, I have added a 40 mil piece to there, same across here. 
cut out the cut out the piece that was in here and brought it down welded these together using a straight edge along there so that they're all nice and straight and then chamfered this edge so that it would be on a nice flat plane and welded this piece to these two pieces then brought them all in and tacked it on the corners pushed that in tacked those corners then welded it all up all up oh once i'd got those that piece that piece and that piece in i then cut two triangular pieces for there and there and welded them in she's been um cleaned up a little bit good enough for a fire pot i think and uh that's pretty much the way it is just a bit of footage of how i mark out and cut my recess so i've measured in 55 mil here from the center here i've measured out 80 and 80 which gives me 160 which is what it is on that side so i've come in 55 here mark down there and on the top 55 there mark down there and on the top and there now i can um, put a straight edge through there that should be all right from there to there It gives me my basic layout <clears throat> and I can cut, start cutting. Just going to use this almost worn out blade here to score some lines, just to mark some lines, then I'll replace it. Okay, gives me something to follow. I'll just go in there, attack. Gives me a line to follow. Um, I'll cut these two. This one has to be cut on an angle, so I'll come in from the other side. But what I'll do is I'll try and plunge through that way, which will give me a marking point, and then I can square it up from that side, flip it over and cut it from the other way because it's easier. Okay, there we have it. Piece cut off. Now that piece will be the piece that's welded to there. Like so. It sticks out past it sticks out past this because it's also got to have another piece of a different material, the six mil material that is welded along there. So that will go in around about there and create my ledge. Okay, so with that cut out and the edges chamfered, oh, I've got to grind them, clean them up a bit so they're easy to weld. Um, I've cut these pieces out, so we've got a short piece for the right hand side which goes in there, short piece for the left hand side which goes in there. And then our piece that we've cut out of here, flipped over, sets in there. Just got left and right on it so that I know which one goes to which. Um, so that's got to be welded to there and those welded onto the ends. So the best way I found to do that, put it up against a straight edge, put that one in there, that one in there. It gives you a good solid square angle to go on then i'll take it over to the welding table put it on in the same situation and i'll tack weld it there there pull this away so i don't wreck my level tack weld it there there on the back on underneath that gets that secured in position then i can lift the whole thing up put it up here start tacking it on the corners so on and so forth right on there we have the unit welded together so like i said just a couple of tacks on the bottom tacks on the inside corner it's only to hold it together i could tack it at the back here but 
it's held together pretty well. I don't want it to pull out of shape any more than it is now. I used that as my flat edge. That's why I didn't get any welds on there. But now it will be lifted into here, held in the right place. I've got to clean these white lines along here is where I've got to clean up a bit of rust off it. Get into the right place there, tacked on the corners here, on the corners there, fully welded up, and then these triangle pieces made for the ends. Okay, here we are. She's been welded on. I'll fix up these corners when I put the side in down here and down here. So she looks almost there. I've now got to put these end caps in. So I reckon that's turned out pretty well. I can now put material down through there and get it nice and low into the heat of the fire. I've just cut out a piece of 6mm to match that and I'm just about to weld that in there so I thought I'd just give a bit of a view of that and uh, I'll weld that on, cut one for there, weld that on and this part will be done. Okay, done. Oh, somebody's probably going to look at it and think, mm, you've got a spot here and you've got a spot here and you've got a spot here. I know. And maybe I'll clean up these couple of things in here at some stage, but at this point, it's done. I'm not going to worry. A bit of spatter. Too much about the aesthetics of it. It's on. It's solid. It's not going anywhere. So, as you can see, I could weld it along there. It's not needed. So I'm not going to waste my time. It's now got the two recessions or depressions in there, which allows me to lay a bar like that down nice and low as I described before get into the the heat of the fire the bottom of the fire well but I may have to grind a little bit off there and off there to get it to sit all the way around but I'll find that out when I set it into the table the top of my table has a, a little bit of a con cave in it so I'm not going to go trying to level it up too much as the table itself isn't all that perfectly level and I may be wasting my time it may sit down in there quite nicely so yes I just wanted to um, confirm that I had finished the fire pot yay